Hi Virgo, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing great. We're going to do your reading here in a moment. Just a couple things before we start. Um, if you're new to my channel, everything you need to know is in the description box. The only thing that I'm going to mention is I do give away uh, free personal readings each month. So those details are below if you'd like to enter. And with that, let's just get started. Uh, what do you need to know right now for beautiful Virgo? Please share with Virgo what they need to know right now. Thank you, Spirit, and thank you, Angels. Oh, look at that. 49, uh, 13, which is 4. I reduced the numbers down uh, because you may see synchronicities of these numbers. Or you can Google the angel numbers, but this is the angel of love. Angel of love, protection, could be, uh, I feel like, can be a time where you are surrounded by love or you feel supported by people. Let's see here, we have 47, which is 11. This is the thinking woman. Let's see what else we have. Oh, 38, which is 11 again. We got 11, 11. Fourth chakra, this is Archangel Raphael. This is the heart chakra. Got a heart here too. Someone's thinking of you, or you may be thinking of somebody here uh, with the heart chakra. Oh, look at this. Beautiful. Number three, you have uh, Blossoming Abundance. Okay, so there uh, may be an indication here. Um, someone's thinking about you. Someone has feelings for you. Uh, threes too for me can be about communication there could be something about to blossom here in love for you you know definitely feeling a love energy for a lot of the signs I'm getting um, unions here twin flames and soulmate unions what else can you share it with Virgo okay we got queen of swords another card here of communication but let's see what else comes out oh look at that ace of wands some sort of opportunity is coming your way. <laughs> but you're hesitant, okay, or you will be hesitant. Because the Queen of Swords here, I feel like um, there's there's an opportunity coming your way, but it feels like you're, there's hesitation here, okay? It may be that you're just feeling guarded or you're feeling protected, um, or, you know, you're just in that very discerned energy, you know, you're doing what's best for you. Uh, four of Cups, like I said, there's hesitation here. Okay, there's hesitation about what is being offered here. I'm gonna say with the wand there, you know, you could be feeling like, you know, this could be someone who's not, uh, you may be feeling it's, it's new or someone here who is casual, okay. We have here uh, the Page of Pentacles. So some sort of message, message of communication coming your way. We also have here the Hierophant, Taurus energy. And I'm going to stop there for a minute. And then we have uh, the King of Wands on the bottom of the deck. So we got Fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag. We have Strong Taurus energy, um, picking up Capricorn, Taurus, and um, uh, could be another Virgo here. But um, someone's coming towards you, Virgo, okay? And I feel like um, there's a message. Someone's, um, I feel, reaching out to you. Somebody's taking action. Um, I feel this is someone uh, that is pursuing you. But there's some sort of hesitation. Now, if you know this person, it could be this is someone who has really kept things casual with you. And it may be, I'm just hearing that maybe you're uncertain of what this person has to offer. Because again, there's some sort of hesitation here. You may also too, this could be an energy where, you know, I, I really feel this is love. This could be where you, you know what you want and you may be looking for a relationship. So you're in that energy. I'm not going to entertain entertain anything that is casual. You know, if this person is not uh giving a whole lot here with the page of pentacles but i feel like for some of you this is a new love situation too because 
you know, this, this is an ace of cups here. And, and another ace here, okay, talks about new energy here, okay? So I feel like there is a new love energy here. Maybe that's uh, you questioning, right, what this person's intentions are. So it, is there an opportunity for growth here? Some of you, the hesitation I'm just going to say is this could be someone younger than you. And this may not be happening right now. This could be upcoming energy. But let's uh, see what else uh, you can share with Virgo. What else does Virgo need to know right now? Okay, we have the Eight of Pentacles. And we got the Seven of Pentacles. And we have the Nine of Cups. Okay. Bottom of the deck here, we have the Seven of Swords, and we have the Six of Wands, and we have, oh my gosh, the Ace of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. Someone's coming towards you, like, in a strategic way, all right? Now, I'm going to say we have the Seven of Swords here. If you know this person and they did something, they may have done something here, because the Seven of Swords can be somebody who's a bit sly, uh, sneaky, you know, but you know, you got good energy here. You got the six of wands, the ace of pentacles and the four of wands. I feel like there's just someone coming towards you kind of in a strategic way here because the energies look really nice. You know, as I said, you have the hierophant and the queen of swords here. You have the ace of wands and you have the eight of pentacles. I feel like there's somebody coming towards you, Virgo, um, who wants to put in the work, somebody who's going to pay attention to you. There's opportunity for growth here. I feel there's opportunity for a relationship here. We have um, the Four of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles, and that's what I'm saying here. I feel like this is you, your hesitation. I see you reflecting here. Now, it could be somebody that you, you're already dealing with here, and you're just not seeing a whole lot of growth with this person, maybe feeling like this person doesn't give a whole lot here with the Page of Pentacles, or like I said, could be somebody younger than you, and that's what the hesitation is here. Page of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. I feel like there's some sort of good news or a message that comes through that I feel like you're going to be really, really happy with, which is interesting here. This just could be the communication here. But the only thing is, is I see this hesitation, okay? And I'm just going to say with the thinking woman, maybe you're thinking about it too much, <laughs> okay? Because... I see there's a lot of opportunity here. You also have here, the look at this, beautiful, the angel of strength, and you have cornucopia. Some of you, I feel like this could be a transition um, into new love here with somebody, and that may be the hesitation, right? That it's new, it's different here, but it's showing me a lot of opportunity and, and, you know, like I said here, you've got the uh, Seven of Swords, you've got the King, uh, King of Wands, the, the Six of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Four of Wands. I feel like there's a new love here coming towards you, Virgo, but there's hesitation here. Now, it could just be, um, maybe you're being guided here, too, with the Queen of Swords. Use discernment here in your situation. Let's pull some more cards because I feel like this is really nice energy. There's a message coming through. You're going to be really happy about it. But there's something here you're not completely satisfied with. Let's see why. Um, I'm going to start with the Seven of Pentacles. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Actually, let's use this uh, deck to clarify. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here, please? Please tell me more about the Seven of Pentacles. Okay. Interesting. All right. Well, we have a Ten of Swords and we have the World card. Um, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo energy. I feel like for a lot of you, this could be new love. 
And I feel like there may be a, a past situation, a past hurt, a past ending here. And now it's kind of that energy of taking that risk, that leap of faith towards something new. But I'm also going to say, you know, I'm not going to rule out that this could be a past person who didn't give a whole lot. And you're looking for a relationship. You're looking for commitment. So I feel there's a change here. Um, you know, either you... You, you want to see change with a particular person or I feel like it's just the change here of moving towards new love. And that's the risk here. And that's probably why you got the angel of love here in the fourth chakra is that um, I feel like you're, you may still be thinking about a situation that was very hurtful to you. And that could be affecting, you know, that's the hesitation here. Why is the four of cups here? Why is the Four of Cups here? Because there's opportunity with the Four of Cups, Virgo. And I always tell people, the universe is bringing you this cup here, this big chalice. And it's an offer that stands out, all right? Or it's something about it that stands out to you. And I always tell people, you may be feeling hesitant, but at least investigate it. At least and hear it out. Because with the Queen of Swords here, Spirit's saying here, you know, be open to the communication, Okay, you can still protect yourself, but be open to it, right? Because the Ace of Wands shows you that there is potential here for growth. Why is the Four of Cups here? Please tell me more about the Four of Cups. Oh my gosh, the Four of Cups. You know this happened to me. Um, this happened to me on another reading. I got Four of Cups on the Four of Cups. Let's pull another card. Oh my gosh, look at that. The Ace of Wands. We were just talking about the Ace of Wands. Interesting. And look, you have the Seven of Cups and you have the Ace of Cups. What I'm feeling here, oh my gosh, you got the Seven of Cups, the Ace of Cups, the Ten of Cups. <laughs> And you have the Hierophant here, okay? You're going to have some options is what I'm feeling here, uh, Virgo, is what I get. I didn't say it, but I was feeling that with the Four of Cups that there is potentially here um, a new love offer because we got Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands here, Seven of Cups telling me there could be potentially new offers. And, uh, and with the Seven of Cups, it's my healthy choice card. So that could be an indication that there are people around you who are interested. There's there's definitely a, uh, a new love being offered here. I feel you're hesitant about, could be hesitant about somebody here you had an ending with because that's a possibility here. That could be what you're thinking about is uh, the ending is what I'm feeling you know, something hurtful that happened, but it's bringing, there's a new cycle here. There's a new cycle here and there's a new love offer. I feel like potentially um, there could be somebody else here in the mix, okay? Either on your mind or you're gonna hear from that person. Let's see why the Page of Pentacles is here. Tell me more about this Page of Pentacles. Tell me more about this Page of Pentacles. Okay, all right, Knight of Wands, and look, the Nine of Cups, because you had the Nine of Cups here too. Look at that. Yeah, I feel like this, that's why we're seeing multiple options. There's a new love coming in here, okay, and I feel like there's also somebody here, could be somebody immature, but it feels like this could be somebody who's been in and out of your life or somebody here who is imbalanced here. The, the imbalance can be a lot of different things. It could be addictions, could be, you know, unhealthy behavior. This is someone I feel um, could be younger, as I said earlier. But the energy I'm feeling here, this person feels like they come around when, you know, when it makes them happy is the energy. So now I see why you're discerned here with the Queen of Swords. You're protecting yourself. But I have to say, Virgo, there's another, there's a new love coming in here. And you may still be thinking about this other person. Oh, I didn't put those cards down. Knight of Wands and the Nine of Cups. We have the Nine of Cups here. Now, some of you, it could be that you're going to be really happy to hear from this person 
everybody's going to be in a different place in their love life. I'm going to clarify this Ace of Wands. Why is the Ace of Wands here, please? Why is the Ace of Wands here, please? Okay, Three of Pentacles and the Moon card, Pisces. We got Pisces here, and we also have here uh, Cancerian and Libra. Okay, so we have Justice here. So what I'm sensing here, you've got someone, this, this Ace of Wands for me can also be about truths. Somebody's here coming towards you, wanting to make a truce, wanting to work on things. However, we saw in the upcoming energy, I feel there's a, also new love coming in for you. So I feel like you're going to be very hesitant about what to do in your situation. Some of you are going to be happy to hear from this person. Some of you, I feel, you know, you may feel like nothing changes with this person and so I get here that you're not going to be too sure what to do. <laughs> you're not too sure here what to do, uh, Virgo. So let's pull some more cards. What else can you share with Virgo? What else does Virgo need to know? Please share with Virgo what they need to know. Okay. Oh, look at that. You got two kings here. King of Swords, King of Pentacles. Got earth energy, air energy there. Nine of pentacles. That's why we got the four of cups. There's two people here that are attracted to you, Virgo, is what I'm getting. I see you in, a, in an independent energy here, okay? And, you know, some of you, you know, you may be married or whatever, but um, I see you in a very independent energy. And you've got two people here. Maybe that's why we got a three of pentacles. There's three people here. Kind of an unknown here, right? Of what to do. Okay, we got a three of swords. There was heartbreak here, which we talked about an ending. Two of pentacles. Weighing your options. An ace of pentacles here, okay? And we have... Six of Cups and the full card here. I feel like, Virgo, you're going to have a decision, a choice, weighing your options here. Because I do feel like there was a hurtful uh, situation that happened here with a past person. And you're, you're looking at the stability and security here for your future. So I feel like um, there's somebody from your past that's going to show up. And it's going to feel like it's it's a risk for you here. Okay, and I feel like you're making the decision, um, but hesitant here, moving towards new love with that four cups energy. What else can you share with Virgo? Please share with Virgo what they need to know. Okay, huh? the peacock, okay. I feel like Cancerian got this card too. So that's about uh, wealth. I also see it as an attractive energy. It also can be a fertile time pregnancy, so be careful. Okay, it's also like the Empress. Oh, interesting. We have jealousy and we have gossip. Okay. Be careful what you say to others because if you're talking to people about your situation, there could be people who gossip. All right, so uh, just know that. We have success and pride. We have the crown. Beautiful. You will be crowned here, okay? Maybe with wealth or a child uh, in the future for some. Yeah, news and messages, okay? Yeah, someone's... There's this person here, and I feel it's somebody you know. You're going to get a message from this person. We got husband, and we also have here groom. Interesting. Now, maybe this is someone you were married to in the past, or you see this person as someone you could marry. It doesn't have to be a male, male or female. And then we have moon. Okay. Yeah, so somebody, um, you may be questioning with this moon card, is this someone 
right? I talked about stability and security. Is this something that's going to go long term? We do have coins, luck, and money on the bottom of the deck. All right. I feel like you're finding yourself in a love situation, but I also feel like they're telling you to be strong here because I feel like there's something here that's about to blossom. And I have to say, Virgo, I can't say that it's a past person here. It could be a new person. There's two, there's two people here. There's two kings here. Two people here who are coming towards you, uh, I feel, that are going to pursue you. And you're going to have to make a choice or a decision. Let's see uh, what the oracles have to say. Let's see what what's the messages here for Virgo. Okay, yeah, you keep getting the full energy. It says, have the courage to embrace change, take risks, and be adventurous. There's some sort of risk here, and it may be, some of you may feel the risk is, is moving towards new love. And some of you may feel the risk is, you know, you know um, seeing where things go with this other person. You have the sun card, beautiful energy. Open your heart to the enormous growth ahead. And bottom of the deck here, we have judgment. Soul searching will bring inner peace to many areas of your life. It's a judgment call. You're going to have to make a judgment call because I feel like, you know, wherever, whatever you're trying to manifest here or whatever is being presented in love, you're going to feel like it's risky. Okay, so either it, it feels uncomfortable or... Or there's a particular person here where you're not too sure. You're not too sure if this person is for real, right? If they're looking for what you're looking for. So Virgo, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.